more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity 
in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now 
to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation, and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals.
Ah, yeah. So, live, need a test if you're here. More live. It's coming around. Oh, oh. What? Yeah, I can't do uh, Hello. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, the, what is it? What is it? Hello. 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 Uti also uti you.
हेलो Hello. Get the sound. What? Hello. 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 She said, "What pick this? Uh, you know." Like Hello. 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 Now, you wait me to use some card. You know, it's a back card. It's a hundred dollars. Oh, Jack to Jack. Hey. 
jack to jack pay. Like P to P. P to P. Like um when phone phone to phone. Yeah, see I'm a team I surround the nurse now. Restart, no, you restart the OBS, then add everything one by one again. Oh, to be at the sound mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you said the other mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. will be mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you can see there is my one, my two, yeah. I think it's also capturing desktop. You don't know which my is here. Hello. I've disabled one say way anyway. I need a desktop. I disabled. 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 I Hello, hello, yeah. It is a foot. It is a trap. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents, and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now 
to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. Hello. 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 The Akobi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, API, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to African or the Southern continent, and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to African or the Southern continents, 
and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals.
The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation, and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents 
and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation, and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. 
The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, master's and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. 
The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa on the South Pacific and the new and growth initiatives in the ACI offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation, and more. In addition, it certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the Oh, and the first part of the most interesting thing to this 
received a presidential charter to award its own degree. With a range of certificates, masters and doctoral programs, and focus on excellence, ACI is an ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become part of the community of schools and universities. for Stella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI. It's a postgraduate research and training institute for the Catholic Church. It was founded in 1987 in the leadership of the Center of Gravity, after Stella from Europe and North America to Africa on the side of the continent. And the new Foreign Theatre Initiative in Theological Relations. ACI offers a range of masters and doctors programs in theology and an opportunity to act Bible translation and protection and more. In addition, we can study the programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At API, we value excellence and be the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degree. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus of excellence, it is an ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become part of the community of scholars and professionals. Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, API, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern countries, and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. API offers a range of masters and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity. Bible translation interpretation, and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degree. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused Oh, 
we still acknowledge the space of us as and lowly sing our concrete in songs of joy and water. In every day's deliverance, our Jesus, we discover this is the sea that's put the sea and led us in the Patience, fairness, and passing through the fire. I love, we praise, wish no heart is, and ever brings us nigh. We club our hearts and souls in, he died, almighty favor. and gentlemen, shall we please rise as we receive the procession of the dignitaries. Paul and Akins to say opening prayer. Have 
this place. It is our prayer that the speaker is our question by you. He will engage us bring and awareness. At the end of this election, Lord, we pray that we we'll learn so much so that when we start the, all the lessons of these great men of our land will be put into practice, bring transformation into our communities. Hearing us, love and Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, a Santio Poku Randolph lecture. deputizing for the Honorary Secretary of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Science, Professor Anita, who is outside the country, and I've been asked for her. So, Mahono, also a fellow of the Academy. I'm sure you all here know what the lecture is about. And I'm sure you have also been given uh, this brochure, which the synopsis have been written, and the brief background of the three personalities whose honor these lectures have been instituted. I've also been given. Uh, take your time and read them at your leisure. My duty here is simply to introduce the chairperson or the chairman for this evening's function. So let me acknowledge the president of the academy, past president, uh, vice president for sciences, uh, other presidents, uh, other uh, fellows present, you are welcome. I know several of you are also joining by uh, Zoom. So I welcome all of you to this lecture. Now, something brief about the speaker, uh, the chairperson. Pardon me, let me just turn off my. Our chairperson evening's function is Professor Alfred Apau Oting Yeboah. Professor Oting Yeboah. And then this evening, that is from Tafo. And I'm from Jumapo. It's just about eight miles, or maybe these days they call it kilometers, eh? Uh, maybe 11 to 12 kilometers apart. And just before we came in, we learned quite a bit about ourselves and about our various towns. He's a good historian. Professor Apau Oten Yeboa is a retired professor of the University of Ghana. He's taught and trained many, many students in several universities in Africa, including Nigeria, Kenya, and also, of course, Ghana. He has published extensively in reputable international journals, including several feature articles on the environment and by diversity for both local and international audience. He chairs many high profile local and international meetings on environment and biodiversity. He's a founding bureau member and former vice chair of the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform for Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, representing Africa. Professor Tin Yabua chairs the steering committee of the Inter International Partnership 
for Sotoyama Initiative, IPSI. Sotoyama, you realize, is a Japanese word. Yes, he also chairs the trusteeship board of the Arusha Ghana ARG, an NGO that advocates for nature and its conservation and sustainable use. Professor Tinyebua was a joint winner of the 2014 prestigious International Midori Prize for Biodiversity. He was also a recipient of the 2010 2020, pardon me, IUCN Highest Conservation Award, the John C. Phillips Memorial Medal. He's a fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, and is a member of the Council of the Academy. He currently chairs the Program and Anniversary Committee of the Academy. Professor Tinyebua is married to Mrs. Reverend Mrs. Lucy Otinyebua, a retired clergy of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, I give way to Professor Alfred Otinyebua. Thank you very much, my distinguished fellow colleague, Professor Akono, the President of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Vice President, Fellows of the Academy, the Rector of ACI, Akrofi Crystal Institute based in Ekropon, clergy that are assembled here and other distinguished personalities. It's a distinguished honor to chair this very important meeting, a meeting in which we are going to hear something. I don't know what it is, but we are going to hear something. But before we hear that something from the lecturer, let me introduce the lecturer. The lecturer is Reverend Professor Pashenting Obeng. He was educated at the Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, Udumasi Krobo, Stroke Ligon, Trinity College, now Trinity Theological Seminary, Ligon where he took a diploma in theology. University of Ghana, Legon, where he took a Bachelor of Arts Honours degree in English. University of Cape Coast, where he did postgraduate certificate in educational planning and counseling. Carleton University, Ottawa, Canada, where he had postgraduate studies in journalism and counseling. Carleton, sorry, Princeton Theological Seminary, where he had a master's in theology, religious communication, and theological anthropology, and Boston University in the USA with a master of arts degree, and a PhD in anthropology of religion, specializing in culture and communication in modern Society. Professor Bain's studies were all made possible by various awards. Further awards facilitated his postdoctoral studies as well. He was a senior fellow at the Center for the Study of World Religions, Harvard University, a visiting fellow at the Department of Afro American Studies and also at Harvard University, and finally at Oxford University at St. Anthony's College. With over 40 publications, including three major books to his credit, 
Professor Bing has given close to 40 lectures and presentations in various parts of the United States of America and in other parts of the world, such as in South Africa, India, Canada, and the United Kingdom. He serves on some boards, including the editorial advisory boards of Trinity Journal of Church and Theology and the International Journal of African Historical Studies. He also has consulted and continues to consult for various universities and university outfits. At present, Professor Bain belongs to six various academic and professional organizations, including the African Diaspora in Asia, called TADIA, African Studies Association, the Semiotic Society of America, and the American Academy of Religion. Professor Ping has been a teacher virtually all his working life. He taught briefly at Christian Service College in Kumasi, and then at his alma mater, Presec Legon, from 1979 to 1982, before he leaving for further studies abroad. He has been lecturing at the university level since 1993. Professor Bing has held teaching positions at Brande University, Wellesley College, Brown and Harvard Universities for over 20 years. In 2017, he retired as full professor from the Africana Studies Department of Wellesley College and returned home to Ghana to take up appointment as Dean of Arts and Sciences and Head of the Humanities and Social Sciences Department at Ashesi University from 2018 to 2020. He voluntarily retired from Ashesi and is currently the Chief Executive Officer of the Pan-African Heritage World Museum and Chairman of the Council of the African University College of Communications in Accra. Reverend Professor Bing specializes in Indian Ocean and Transatlantic African Diaspora Studies, also in Anthropology of Religion in Continental Africa and New World Africa Atlantic areas, Cultural Communication focusing on black filmic representations. Reverend Professor Bay was ordained by the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, but while in the United States of America, he served as a pastor of the United Church of Christ and was on the pastoral team of the Universal United Church of Christ congregations as well as Lee Hills. He retired this year from the Ministry of the Presidential Church of Ghana. He is married to Vida and they have three grown-up sons. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to join me in welcoming to the podium our distinguished lecturer for this evening, Reverend, Reverend Professor Bing. You have to May I please ask that those who can to spend just a moment to hold in our hearts and minds the light and please. Thank you.
Professor Chair, distinguished guests, friends, and those that decided to surprise me by showing up here. I am grateful for the opportunity to be a conversation partner this afternoon. I also want to thank Professor Kwashi and team for humoring me by inviting me here. And as they say in Ghana, all protocols observed. I think this is the time that I can start speaking, right? Okay. Okay. All right. So I hear that after the after the, the hymn or song. Yes. Thank you. Oh, 
Because thy love is fortress Thou shalt tempt us to thee Thou shalt tempt us to Thank you. 
Thank you very much. The lecture has already been introduced. We now have remarks from the rector of Akrosfi Cristola Institute, the person of Reverend Professor B.Y. Kwashi. After Reverend Professor Kwashi, you will then hear the speaker. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Chairman, President, and Fellows of the Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to say a few words on this occasion. This eighth Asante Opokun Rai Love Lecture is the last one that I will participate in as a rector, since by the time the next one comes around, I will have retired. So let me be a bit personal here and take this opportunity to thank the Academy for all these years of partnership in running this lecture series. 2020, sorry, 2019 was the last time that we were able to gather here together like this. Subsequently, we have had to come here to record the lecture and run it online. By the grace of God, we are here together again. It looks like uh, some people have become addicted to participating online, so they are not here today. But we thank God for this opportunity. And I would want to take the opportunity to also thank all those that have had the privilege to invite to present in this lecture series. Uh, speaker for today has been introduced, but I wish to indicate that uh, we go way back. I've known you for some 50, 60 years now, and he's already been introduced as having attended the school that has no competitors when it comes to what everybody knows. Incidentally, from Presec, three of us went into mm -hmm. ministerial training some 51 years ago. And the third member of the group, Reverend Professor Kobe, is here tonight. He, in fact, delivered the sixth Asante Opoku Rindorf lecture right here in this hall in 2011. So, I've been talking about three Presbyterian church ministers. Now, we are here to honor the memory of three Basel mission ministers. People dedicated to being African in their service to the Basel mission. These days, you hear people talk about Christianity as a white man's religion. And some seek to blame Christianity for all the troubles we have on our continent. It is sad because it's obvious that they don't know the nature of Christianity. If they did, I doubt that they would make those accusations. But these three gentlemen we honor in this lecture series, they teach us that, yes, you can be African and Christian without having to give up who you are as an African. 
They function intellectually in their mother tongues, in African languages. And by that, we are talking about appreciating their own heritage as Africans and putting that heritage to the service of Christ in their ministries. So as we honor them, I believe they challenge us to appreciate our African heritage and always explore how we can use that heritage in the service of Christ and Christ's people. On that note, my deep gratitude to all who have been part of my journey at ACI over the years and participated in this lecture series. And I hear tonight to honor this invitation to be here tonight. I'm sure I'm blessed. And I praise Thank you very much, Professor Kwashi. I think, and I know, he left out one aspect. He and I started at a school called Ebri Boys, Amamfu, before going to Presec. Short because he's shorter than that is okay. We live in the long shadows of great debates regarding humanity and religions. And the debate revolve around whether other people besides Europeans do have humanity as the others. Among such debates was one held in 1550 for Spanish about the Native Americans or First Nations. According to Sepulveda, because it had written laws, language, religion, sophisticated science and technology, while the First Nation people or Native Americans were barbarians, criminals, those of rudimentary forms of religion, and therefore uncouth. As an be civilized and Christianized. On the other hand, Las Casas argued this way, that people were as human as just as the Europeans, even though the Europeans might not of suffocation and in the traditions of those that encountered them. Sepulveda therefore argued that the people therefore qualified to be enslaved. But Las Casas counted that argument by saying that if the others 
are like the Europeans, then they should not be enslaved by anybody. Because the one who authored them into existence is the one who also authored the people that are called Native Americans. I hear someone ask the question, what has maize or corn to do with kinky? Na esuno ebro na esuno dokuno. Stay with me to begin looking at specific faith examples that are demonstrated in the lives of people that are also the children of God, if you believe in God. Therefore, in the shadows of debates by academics are real human beings that practice their faith and as a result of how they deal with the rough and tumble of life they exhibit tendencies struggling with illness and hopes and aspirations that are as real as other people as a result of that what they do in a moment, in the face of their spiritual life, is just part of the continuum of their spirituality. They do so as all people that seek freedom and ways for exhibiting spiritual nourishment and the desire to belong. The heroes in whose honor this lecture has been set up were exemplars, as my brother Kwashi did point out. They did embrace, they did integrate, they did articulate their spirituality in their own way. But all that they did pointed beyond the human agency to ways in which they were revitalizing the faith that they received and shared with other people. When we try to understand the continuum of spirituality, it is very important for us to consider other factors beyond the human agency. This lecture, therefore, I hope to use in raising some questions, not to provide answers, because I have already been told that there is no question and answer time during this. The people speak and they go their merry way. I'm grateful for that, because I was going to reserve all challenging questions to him and those that introduced me. From examples of religions such as Candomblé in Brazil, religious personnel that at times give the impression is that when we are startled and fascinated by a specific manifestation of spirituality, we do not pay attention to the antecedent factors that gave rise 
to that very moment. Why do we have African Islam? Why do people talk about African Christianity, African Judaism, but not a faith by another name based on indigenous ideas, foundational metaphors, indigenous ways of knowing, doing, and being? More importantly, how do we emphasize the creation, the dissemination, and ownership of knowledge produced from our roots and branches so that we can apply such knowledge to advance ourselves wherever we find ourselves in order to feel proud about a future that we produce and pass it on to posterity. This sounds like a tall order, but I am limiting myself to four examples that I've called the episodic versions of religious traditions. One is Judaism amongst the people of Sefiyosu in the western region of Ghana. Two, Antonianism in Congo. Three, Nana in Tunabu of Elmina or Edina. And finally, Sidnash among descendants of Africans in Karnataka of South India. The interaction of religions to produce new forms of practice and faith is not a new phenomenon. This is why we have hyphenated labels such as African Judaism, Asante Catholicism, all these labels, to me, appear to be convenient ways to express a version of the meeting together of faith. But what is not clear is whether trappings of one religion have subsumed another, and whether practitioners themselves have chosen the labels that are given to them, or that they are imposed on them by others. How and why do we have Muslims, Christians, Hindus who do not have any prefixes such as Indian Hinduism, German Christianity, Omani Islam? This is where some scholars have come up with certain unfortunate words. One of such theoretical idea is the evolutionary thought that steadily every religion will advance to where it's supposed to be and they are called the evolutionists. Then there are those that are called the devolutionists saying all religions began from a specific point but because of sin and corruption and other mischievous activities some religions degenerated then there are others that have come up with this fancy word syncretism to them as religions encounter one another in the same space some religions dominate others but again they are on their way to graduating but Claus and Mills have argued that syncretism is a political word it's a mixture of cultural and religious categories that appear to be alien to one another therefore they argue that it's a misguided word because it does not pay attention to spiritual continuum and to the religious histories of people so let me now crave your indulgence to try to quote extensively from some reflections that I've been working on for some time now I start 
with Judaism at New Adiembra among the Sesuiosu people of Western Region. This is an example of recent religious movement in continental Africa. The Jewish community begins to reinterpret their own indigenous practices and ideas to reinforce activities of their local version of Judaism. But I raise the question as to why these indigenous practices, especially including female ritual activities, are not privileged when the Jews in Ghana recast their faith in the outfit of a transnational immigrant faith movement. Some Ghanaians who practice Judaism, Islam, or Christianity are quick to self-identify as belonging to a religion other than their primordial one. There are a number of reasons, but amongst them, an expression of being modern, or born again, as some would say, or setting themselves apart from other people, you can add to what I have provided. But wherever there is a switch in religious affiliation, there are people on the ground that are actively engaged in drawing and redrawing the boundaries of their previous faith in order that the new faith to which they want to belong can fit. For instance, Weiss describes the Jewish community in say we or so that for a long time, they did not know that there were other Jewish people in the world. They thought they were the only Jews in that place, New Adiembra of Sesuioso. It was only in the 1980s that some of them traveled to Accra and then realized that there are Jewish communities all over the world. There are millions of Jews around the world. This elated the people. And so they began to spread the word about their objectives and wanted to be part of a larger community beyond the confines of Sejuyosu. And as I encountered them, they helped me understand some of the motivating factors, including now that we belong to a larger community, now that we have established relationship with those in America, in Israel, and other places, don't you think it's because of this that you have heard about us and you have come to chat with us? It's not all Jewish people that pride themselves on the fact that they are becoming popular. Some do so because of the spiritual quest in their lives. Some do so as a means of seeking freedom. Some do so as a political strategy to establish themselves and set themselves apart from other people. But when they begin to proudly describe themselves as Jewish people, and they say that because they could find correspondence between their indigenous practices such as their local deity called Sobori, declaring such a day as day of rest, which has correspondence within the Jewish tradition. When they say that all the young ones, the male ones, have to undergo circumcision, and that is similar to what happens in Judaism. When they say that women that are in their menstrual cycle are not allowed to prepare meals for the family. When they say that they do not eat pork, when they argue that no one, no one slaughters any animal that doesn't belong to their kind, when they begin to find these functional equivalences between the indigenous traditions or cultural practices and the new faith, they assert their identity as being Jewish. It is not 
because their mothers are Jewish. It is not because they have sat at the feet of some rabbinate. It is not because they have blood connections with the nation of Israel, but they have looked at important cultural practices. So I ask the question, besides the dietary restrictions and days of rest and the circumcision and the taboos, what else is there regarding the manifestation of their faith as Jewish people? They reminded me that Sobori, the deity of the place, is the one that was called upon or invoked during times of warfare and Subori assisted their forebears. But the reason that their forebears were devotees of Subori was that they were acting out of ignorance, to quote them. Further, they argue that today when they ask for the Torah and books that are shipped to them, they seek to practice the true faith. It is the case, my friends, that some of these people were the very ones that told me that in 1978, a group of women were crossing the Tano River but because some of them were in their menstrual cycle period, they drowned. Tano forbids. Tano doesn't allow that. But the river Tano caused the drowning of these women. And then they continue to argue if these women had not converted to Christianity and pretended that because they were Christian, they could just disobey the rules of Tano, such mishap would not happen. Further, they reminded me that they do have naming ceremony. And they use the calabash palm wine, but when they are supposed to evoke the names of their ancestors, they call on Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To my astonishment, yes, these are biblical ancestors. But when Ghanaians in New Adiemra who have ancestors whose middle and last names and days of birth are known to them, but they begin to insinuate themselves in Abraham, Isaac, Jacob as the true ancestors, then it puzzles me. Further, among the people, it's a ritual that is performed solely by women. Momome. This happens when women are able to mimic, simulate, warfare during times of crisis and I understand that in the 70s the Tano River flooded its banks. The women in the area were called upon to perform some rituals and they did clad themselves with particular clothing and performed the ritual to stem the floods and livestock Human beings 
cops were saved. They, the practitioners of Judaism, told me about this. It made me wonder, how come the people that are planted in this soil would choose to ignore or neglect such important sacred power of women simply because to them they had read, they had appropriated, they had understood and therefore included in their lifestyles certain prohibitions that their religion imposes on them. This is the Jewish community in Sehuyoso. I did say that not only that, I heard that some of them, after coming to Accra, bought Israeli flats, planted them on the grounds of their synagogue. And there was an argument surrounding the flags that they had planted there because to some of them the flags were used in warding off evil spirit or any malevolent spirit that would come and destroy their happiness to call them. If, if they could believe that flags had the potency to drive away evil spirits and they lived amongst people that could exist female sacred power and yet such women are neglected because their religion forbids their participation in such important events puzzles me. I have also indicated that it's not only Judaism in Ghana, but because they have found correlations between Judaism and their indigenous practices, and yet are committed to selective understanding or appropriation of what suits that angle of vision. I do not want us to believe that all religious people that I have mentioned do such selective ways of living. How about those that self-identify as Christians but have created another faith with its institutional structure and political relevance called Nana in Tunebu? in Elmina or Edina, central region of Ghana. According to De Bruna, this is what he writes. What remained of Catholicism at Elmina after 160 to 170 years of Portuguese rule? And he provides the answer, a pagan shrine set to contain the statue of St. Anthony and to present certain Christian features and it is quite possible that some elements of Catholicism were thus absorbed into the pagan religion in his history of Christianity in Ghana, page 34. He was alluding to the relics of St. Anthony of Padua which had become Nana Intuna or Intunebu in Elmina. Nana Intuna, an African shrine, developed a priesthood with specific rituals and festivals. And another scholar, Will Jen, describes Intunebu as the once zealous confraternity slipped back into the pagan religious system of their countrymen who had never been baptized. The shrine and the statue remained. What these scholars are describing 
is a phenomenon that defies their definition of Christianity. The most powerful local Benya and his institutional structure were subsumed by Nana and Tuna, which contained the relics of Saint Anthony and all the trappings. Catholicism, therefore, has taken on a different dimension in the eyes of Will Gain and De Bruna and other scholars. However, these Africans, as purposeful agents, used elements they borrowed, particularly the parts of a foreign statue, to assert a new sacred power in Edina. The statue is washed annually, carried in processions, believed to have power to heal the sick, foster fertility for humans and nature, and grant the legitimating power and authority to newly installed chiefs of Edina even today. When the statue is washed, the water collected is used for asperges to cleanse the whole town. And Tunebu has on some occasions become the haven for people seeking asylum in Elmina. The story of Intunebu with custodians who come from a particular family helps us understand ways in which religious people use resources from their own environment, ideas of economics, notions of self and power to express their spirituality. It seems there is some interlocking relationship between concepts of the divine and the kind of people who venerate or worship specific deities. When healing of the sick can happen as a result of Intunebu, and others go to setting sanctuaries to receive healing, or go to specific areas in the country, and all their ailments are washed away. If Intunebu has helped some of the people in the area to fight and win victories in wars. Dorcas Amedume, in her master's thesis, argues that there is a difference between the outlook and what happened to Nana Intunebu and Antonio in Ghana or Gold Coast and what happened in Congo. Congo offers Donna Beatrice Vita Kimper, a female who asserted that she was possessed by the spirit of Saint Anthony, constructed the understanding of Jesus as being black, regarded all saints as black, stepped up resistance against the Portuguese rule in her own country, was arrested and burned at stake as a heretic. Because under the weight of the force of the Catholic faith, supported by the Portuguese monarchy, under the weight of colonialism, that African Donna Beatrice Kemper was squelched. She was burnt at stake as a heretic in 1701 together with those that followed her. And as I said, unlike what happened in the Congo, Nana Intunebu emerged at the time that the Portuguese had left and the Dutch took over. And according to Amedume, the Dutch appeared to be not interested 
in such statues and relics. According to her, the freedom provided therefore enabled the other Africans to assert their understanding of a faith that today exists. Although some have labeled what happens at Indun in Tuna Bu as witches and priests of idols. If we begin labeling other people's religious practices as pagan or idol worship because of where we stand, then we wear the face of civil Buddha and say these people's practices are not as pure and advanced as what we know and accept ours to be. But before we get carried away, I did mention that there is another. It is amongst the people called Siddhis in India. Descendants of Africans that have been in India for over a thousand years as a result of the slave trade through the Indian Ocean, Sahara, and the Mediterranean worlds. After all these years, on specific days in April, they gather in an area and some of them go into trance where their religious leaders utter words, they perform dances because they have come under the influence of spirit possession. Where they begin to dance and gesture in some choreographic ways where they call upon certain elements in their lives, but they root their roots in their ancestors, whom they do not call the Sidi Nash. What they do is to use those sacred sites as sites of memory, sites they use in embodying and externalizing what they have learned about themselves because it's encoded in their DNA. And I'm reminded by what Archbishop Sapon told me some time ago. When he visited Saramaka in Suriname, and he said that he met a group of people that when they go into trance, the ritual language they use is a can key. After over 300, 400 years, how come that it's when they go into spirit possession that the language they speak is a can key? Although they may not understand what they are communicating. Similarly, when the cities of Karnataka go into trance and they use their bodies in communicating with the spirit world and they begin to transmit what they have accessed in the spirit world onto one another as a way of binding themselves to one another and redrawing new boundaries for themselves as diasporic people in a foreign land it is during spirit possession that they are able to empower one another. So through the aesthetics, through the language, through their body language, through other gestures, they are able to relate to one another and build a future that reroots them into an ancestral heritage 
although they have never been to continental Africa. And when I asked them what empowers them, what they say is that they know that they are descendants of Africans. Although nobody sees them as such, but because they have learned to use their sacred sites as sites of memory, sites to uphold, sites to ratify their own identities and redefine who they are as a people in the diaspora through spirit possession, which some will look upon as paganism or idol worship. Such sensibilities are drawn upon by a people that have been enslaved before, a people that have been marginalized, a people that live on the fringes of society, a people that do not have as much voice as others. It is under the forces of such that they remember their forebears whose names they do not even know. How about us? Those that are grounded here under the impact of forms of colonialism, not only in our education, not only in our legal system, not only in our religious traditions, how do we respond to the questions that are posed or unspoken by those that have realized that it is only when we root ourselves in the foundational metaphors, the mythologies, the stories of our own people that we can create knowledge and own that knowledge, pass that knowledge on to posterity because we have been sent by our ancestors, not only them. We have been sent by people in our contemporary times and we have been sent by the yet unborn. What is our response to this message? Thank you. Can we show another appreciation to <laughs> Reverend Professor? There is a string that runs through the whole lecture. And that string is related to spirituality among indigenous people. What is spirituality? Spirituality is something delving into an unknown. And anybody who, and of course spirituality is practiced on an individual basis until you are able to couple other people to work with you or deal with you, then it becomes a religion which becomes then organized. It's very interesting that within the African setup, there has been several of such situations where we are told that spirit beings possess living people and influence them to do acts that are very peculiar. In this country we have stories about Konfanochi and others who had mystical powers and are able to do many things which puzzled many people. This evening, the lecturer has actually given us four basic puzzles which he has picked up 
which relate to the actual, if you like, the diasporian story, the African extent of our world. And of course, when I talk of the African extent of our world, I'm referring to the dermatological, that is, the skin color of ourselves, which also influences our determination to strive towards a goal. Reverend Professor has indicated situations where there are hypocrisies. He has also indicated to us, and uh, he has also indicated to us the uh, issue of transden uh, trans tendency. Uh, transcendency, sorry, transcendency, where you use the mind to move into the unknown and therefore develop spiritual powers. But among the powers, sorry, among the puzzles that he has referred to is a situation where uh, people acquire names for a new mode of religion or a new mode of behavior. And therefore, uh, they either attempt to make it look like a religion which is in favor or something close to that. But there are many, many questions that arise from here. This is because in many situations, particularly with the understanding of traditional knowledge systems, which are now being unearthed to assist in scientific understanding of issues that are around us. I think the puzzling will continue because I believe, Prof, you will continue to be puzzled by why is it that when you are eating, you are not supposed to talk. For example, why is it that when you swallow, say, a cocoa bean, and I'm, I'm using cocoa bean as an example because I come from Tafel. <laughs> Honorary Secretary mentioned that. Yes, when we were young, we used to, because of the sweetness of the pulp, you know, that sweet part of the bean before it turns into a chocolate. We are told that when you swallow it, it will germinate in your stomach and you'll be walking around as a cocoa tree. <laughs> you know, there are several puzzles which were woven into our culture, which made us who we are and what we are. Sometimes the distinctness of what is it that you believe in creates a situation where uh, people get confused. So should we say in a concept of give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God that you know what is his? But it all depends on I think a relationship where one can develop to understand why a particular group of people are behaving the way they are doing. In fact, if you go through the whole of this country, almost every traditional area has a festival. And the festival is linked to something. Some of them are not linked to anything. It's just a period of enjoyment. But those that are old enough or that have existed for a very long time, you will find that they are linked to specific spirituality. Spirituality that throws away or removes hunger. Spirituality that brings fertility and increased fecundity. Spirituality of all kinds of things that uh, the people are needing or the people want. And this is where sometimes the bondage comes in. I think we will continue to follow him 
and also get puzzled as we begin to understand, especially from the diasporian concept. What is it that we're carried away from Africa to far away South America, to far away Indonesia? In fact, when you go to Indonesia, you'll be surprised that a lot of the people in Indonesia, in Indonesia speak similar languages as are spoken in Madagascar. There are stories which also indicate that the transatlantic boat travel, the transatlantic boat travel was first undertaken by Africans. How did they do it? So there is so much knowledge out there which we need to take our time to pick and understand. We should not be, uh, excuse me to use the word, um, be influenced by the concept of religion. Because as I have said, religion is actually an organized situation of how or what to do. But in the minds of people, every individual desires to search for something very special for himself or herself. So today, I believe is going to be the beginning of our puzzles. He had been puzzling over the years, searching for answers. Did you get the answers? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> so it's a very, very interesting The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training in understand the real tenets of human life. Human life is not just uh, you, you eat, you sleep, you wake up. Human life is not just like that. Human life is meant to do something on this earth. And so, I think the ball is back to you, Rector. Interestingly, you are retiring after this 18th, but put it in your um, honey over notes. <laughs> to the next person who is coming, that hey, we, we have knowledge, we have information, let us see how we can create this as a background to be able to do our evangelism. The Akrofi so, Christella Institute of behalf, Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate and research and training behalf, institution to focused in African Christianity. The president of the it was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity Christian from Christian Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents. That and this particular the lecture, homegrown creative which initiative has looked at in theological Poku, formation, ACI offers a range of masters Rindolf, and doctorate programs in theology the with options in African earlier. Christianity, Bible translation and interpretation, and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times people, a year so in speak, different aspects of the Christian the life. Year, the Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as the library with the concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the North. Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degree, with a range of certificates, masters so and doctorate basis, programs, and much, a focus and on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this world. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals.
the Ekobi Kostela Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, API is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe.
yes we have been kept by the power of God we are so grateful to the Lord for making it possible for us to have the CS 18th Asante Opokura end of lecture and our distinguished chairman we are so grateful to you for steering affairs and for all those who are here for your participation appreciation to the Aldunames minstrels for treating us with so much powerful songs to make this lecture lively and a wonderful one. I know that our time here has been wonderful. We've left with great lessons that will help us as we continue to reflect on African Christianity and especially the lives of Asante Upoku and Rydoff. This is the first of the Asante Hoku round of lecture we're having for this year. The second dose will take place on Friday, the 3rd of November, at the Presbyterian College of Education at the Kropone Krapem. And we're inviting all of you to come for the second dose as well to enable you hear more, learn more, and take more action. So on Friday, we're meeting at the college assembly hall at the Kropong for second dose of this lecture. By way of further announcement, we would want to introduce the Akrofi Crystal Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture and let you know some of the programs that we have on offer to you, programs in the area of accredited studies and also our continuing education particularly the certificate programs. And turn with me to the brochure, you would recognize that we have the Master of Arts programs with February 2024 admissions currently underway. We are inviting applications for the Master of Arts with various options, holistic mission and development, biblical studies option, Pentecostal studies option, leadership option, Bible and science, and world Christianity. And same for the Master of Theology program to show us the video. It's just a one minute, 30 second video of Akriki Crystal Institute as we reflect and as we invite others to the Akriki Crystal Institute of like Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a, a postgraduate research and training and institution study. focused in African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity from Europe and North America to Africa and other southern continents and the need for homegrown creative initiatives in theological formation. ACI offers a range of master's and doctorate programs in theology with options in African Christianity, Bible translation interpretation and more. In addition, it runs certificate programs four times a year in different aspects of the Christian life. The Institute also has an archive that preserves the history of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and other historical records, as well as a library with a concentration on theology and the history of Christianity in Africa and the non-Western world. At ACI, we value excellence, and we are the first private theological institution in Ghana to receive a presidential charter to award its own degrees. With a range of certificates, masters and doctorate programs, and a focus on excellence, ACI is the ideal place to further your education in this field. Apply now to become a part of the community of scholars and professionals. The Akrofi Christella Institute of Theology, Mission and Culture, ACI, is a postgraduate research and training institution focused on African Christianity. It was founded in 1987 in response to the shift in the center of gravity of Christianity Great from Europe and North America to Africa and other South Africans and program. the need for homegrown creative initiatives. In th the institute has considered a drastic reduction in the admission fees, the tuition fees from three thousand dollars to nine thousand Ghana cities. So ACI's MA programs will now cost 
9,000 Ghana cities to Ghanaian students. I think you will celebrate that. You need to. From $3,000 to 9,000 Ghana cities. I want to thank the council and the leadership of the institute for making this possible and giving us this generous offer. So what it means is that you and I will have to go far and wide to invite many, many students to ACI to take advantage of the courses that we have shared with you on the screens and also that you find in the program brochure. And we trust in that as we prepare for the next intake in February next year, you will be our partners in that enterprise. You will invite others, you will tell others about ACI, and you will help them to also come and join the ACI family. Thank you all very much. At the end of the lectures, we recess. Refreshments have been made available for all of us. For those on the high table and the fellows of the academy and other senior officials of ACI will gather at the fellows' lounge and have their refreshments there. The rest of us, as we move out, refreshments have been made available for us. We want to thank all of you once again, and Professor Pashenton Obin will, let, will like to specially acknowledge Professor Kofi Asare Opoku, uh, who is a grandchild, grandson of Ifulos Opoku. We also have Professor Henry Niaju Wellington right at the back there also, a grandson of Professor of Tifula Supoku. We are grateful to all of you for making time to come and be part of this. Right. We would like to invite the Reverend Professor David Nianum Kubi to give us the closing prayer and bless us. Let us stand and pray. Almighty God, we want to thank you so much for the time we have spent here tonight. We want to thank you for all that we have heard and all that we have said. We thank you for the new things we have learned. We thank you for the enlightenment we have obtained. We thank you that each one of us is going away this evening having been blessed by the things we have heard and seen here today. I pray for everyone who was here today, Lord, that you will continue to enlighten us, so we'll continue to learn, so we'll have a message for the future, and especially for those who come under our tutelage. I pray, Lord, that this event will continue to flourish and to bear much more fruit for all of us and for those who are far beyond. And as we leave this place, O oh Lord, may you go with us to our various homes. May your grace and your mercy continue to be on us, that we will always remember to give thanks to you. Thank you for hearing our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us all say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much.
we can file out our refreshments and have a wonderful evening but the choir will continue to minister songs if you want to enjoy more we can still be around
Sidos, 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 sidos. 